certainly. And to discuss the case even further, we're going to bring in criminal defense attorney Brian Claypool. Brian, thanks for joining us. Hey, Anna, great to be with you. So we'll do a bit of a crime roundup. We'll hit a couple other stories as well in a moment. But the suspect in this Rachel Morin case was denied bail on Friday, as we mentioned, and a 23-year-old illegally crossing into the U.S. multiple times. What charges is he facing? What does it say about border security? Well, it's first-degree murder, but bigger than that, Anna, I mean, I actually represent uh, the mother of Kayla Hamilton. Natasha had us on the show uh, a few months ago. She was another young lady murdered by an MS-13 gang member that illegally crossed the border. So here we have another example of an illegal crossing the border multiple times. And on top of that, I live out here in the L.A. area. This guy was was seen on a video camera trying to break into a home of a young woman out here in Los Angeles. I mean, what the heck's going on with monitoring uh, these illegals that are running through the country? But look, at the end of the day, this this guy is going to face first degree murder. My concern, though, Anna, is what's happening in the Kayla Hamilton case. Uh, Public defenders are trying to raise, in that case, uh, mental health issues with the illegal immigrant, if you can believe that. So I hope the father is ready for a long haul to get justice for his daughter, Mm -hmm. because it seems like in cases like this, at times the illegal immigrant gets more constitutional rights than the victim. Yeah, you're going, are you are you kidding me? Are you are you kidding me? Uh, let's switch gears now. We're going to talk about this Alec Baldwin Rust trial. Uh, a New Mexico judge denying the prosecution's request to have convicted Rust armorer Hannah Gutierrez Reed to be given immunity to testify at the trial next month for the 2021 fatal shooting of the movie's cinematographer. So prosecutors are alleging that Alec Baldwin engaged in horseplay and acted recklessly on the Rust set. How does that hold up in court? I mean, you think about it. it he, I imagine they would have to show this wasn't a one-time instance, right? If he's acting carelessly, recklessly, what's that going to look like for him in court? Yeah, and look, at the end of the day, I think prosecutors are stretching to go after Alec Baldwin. They already convicted the culprit in the case. Hannah Gutierrez-Rees was the armorer. It was her sole job to make sure there was no live ammunition in the gun that Alec Baldwin had, number one. And number two, uh, to not have any live ammunition on the, uh, on the set, if I'm Alec Baldwin's lawyer in this case, my star witness is Hannah Gutierrez-Reed. She was convicted of involuntary manslaughter. And, and she is the only person, arguably, that's alleged to have brought on the, the live ammunition. The case is not about Alec Baldwin being careless on the set. That carelessness is not uh, involuntary manslaughter. And there's an issue called causation. The legal causation is harder, Anna, in a criminal court, You've got to show that Baldwin's conduct was a significant factor in causing the death. He's going to argue it's the it's the armorer putting a live uh, bullet in that gun that caused it. So, I, look, look, all this stuff about oh, Baldwin was was messing around with a gun, shooting it wrong, and all that. His lawyers are going to argue that's not the cause of the death. Yeah. He, there was a bullet in there. Um, lastly, we'll move on to this. Curry Richens is back in court this week. This is now this is the Utah mom and the children's book author who's accused of fatally poisoning her husband and then publishing a children's book about coping with grief. What chance does she stand of getting off without a conviction, you think? Yeah, she's in a heap of trouble, Anna. The reason why is typically in a criminal murder case, you don't need to prove motive. But let's face it. It always helps, right, with the jurors because they see television, movies. And here you've actually got motive, too. It's alleged that she was having an affair, number one. Number two, it's alleged that she committed financial fraud by trying to get uh, life insurance benefits. So she had a financial motive as well as a motive to be with arguably another man. And then on top of that, recently there was evidence that's going to be allowed, I think, in this trial that she had attempted to kill her husband on a prior occasion. If that gets into evidence, Anna, then that will be the death nail for her at trial. Okay. Brian Claypool, thanks for that true crime roundup for us there. We'll be watching all of them here on News Nation. Thanks a lot.